On to stage five between Al Ula and Hail, a stage of two halves in prospect. Fast sandy tracks, stones and riverbeds in the first part of the special before going off piste in the second. Well, for the third time on this Dakar, the road books were given to the bikers just 25 minutes before the start of the special. Game over for one of the former winners among the field, Sam Sunderland. The 2017 champion following Adrian van Beveren out of the Dakar after he crashed at kilometre 182. His fellow riders stopping to help out in an admirable show of Dakar spirit. Medical assistance soon arrived on the scene as well. Sunderland quitting the Dakar for the fifth time in seven participations. Luckily, though, the British rider is not too badly injured. Sam is, is OK. He had an uh, injury in the back, some, some uh, fractures, but the small ones. So it's, it's not compression, so it's not necessary surgery. He's OK. Also, he has an injury in the, in the shoulder plate, but nothing serious. We know uh, it's Dakar. Uh, this can happen. We need to keep pushing with the rest of the team. Pablo Quintanilla continues to lead the charge for Husqvarna. The Chilean was second on the stage today, and he sits only 16 minutes behind the overall leader, Ricky Brabeck. He'll definitely be a man to keep an eye on as we head towards the sharp end of the rally. But how about this for a sight? A group of five riders leading the way up at the front, including Brabeck, the overall leader. The American joined by his Honda teammates Nacho Corneco and birthday boy Kevin Benavides, 31 today. The stage winner was also in there, Toby Price, flying the flag for KTM after Sunderland's abandon. He looks like their best chance of keeping hold of their 18-year streak in the bikes. Uh, yeah, it's been a, been a good stage and uh, it's actually the first time I've ridden with a whole, whole big group before, so it was quite quite enjoyable. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, they are competitors. We need to just try and stay in front of them. But uh, yeah, we're, we're happy with the day, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see how day uh, six goes. Now I think that's where we're up to. So start to lose count of it all. Well, Brabeck's lead is now nine minutes and six seconds over Price, who is followed by Benavides, Quintanilla, and Cornejo. There are three Hondas in the top five. Onto the quads where the top seven riders on the day were separated by just 15 minutes. Simon Witzer keeping hold of third overall. Alexandre Giroud has been off the pace so far this year, but the Frenchman took stage on us today. He's fifth overall, but nearly two hours back. And meanwhile, Ignacio Casale still has a healthy lead overall. Over half an hour clear of Giovanni Enrico in the standings.